not support it. Well, there is a book, I mean, I don't know whether you're really interested in it or not, but there is boards in, within the Catholic tradition. Yeah, I know. They, I know. Have you ever read about those confirmed miracles? Yeah, no, they're not confirmed. They're, they're, I, I've written the Vatican about this, and I've offered our services with the verification of saints and miracles, and I never get a response. But frankly, the process for confirming miracles is a joke. It's not, there is no critical analysis of miracle claims. It's, it's awful, it really is. You should, I mean, if, if I were a Catholic, I, I mean, look, here's an example. John Paul II was just beatified. What was his miracle? Did he heal someone? Did he do anything? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He prayed on behalf of a woman who had uh, Parkinson's. He prayed for her to God. Maybe no one else in the world prayed for this woman ever. But if anyone else did, and God, let's say God exists, and let's say God cured her of the Parkinson's. How do you know it was John Paul II's prayer, which was the one that got through it, and God said, you know what, I am going to fix her with Parkinson's. And by the way, people keep cure Parkinson's on their own all the time. It, it didn't just happen once. So, I mean, from my world of looking into things and needing real evidence to verify things, it's, it's a pathetic standard. It really is. I mean, you would not want your own doctor, you would not want the person who designed the airplane you came in, or the car you drove in, you wouldn't want those people to have the same standards that the Catholic Church uses for verifying miracles. We'd all be in bad shape. Did you like one, one last question. Yeah. Um, how do you respond to uh, many people who would say that the challenges to the paranormal are set up in a way that they can never be won, even if they have a legitimate miracle? That's a good question. When we deal with our $50,000 prize, and I know James Randy does the same thing, the claimant has to agree on the protocol. We design the protocol, we say, okay, what can you do? I can send my thoughts into other people's heads. Okay, so, if we put another guy in another room down the hallway and cut off all communication between you, and we flip the deck of cards over one by one, you could get a substantial number of those cards mentally sent in, right? Yes, I can. I agree to that challenge. They show up, they, we do it exactly like we said they were going to do it, and they can either do it or they can. What we do and what Randy does does not depend on, if I could. I could probably just leave the room. It's, it's very obvious and objective what happens. Either they do it or they can't. So, um, you know, but they really have no excuse. Yeah. The current Catholic Church has uh, just recently had a million people assembled in uh, Rome to witness Pope's final miracle, which they, I don't know what, what the end results were, uh, but they're expending, they had a million people in the, the uh, what's the name of that uh, place? But anyway, Vatican, yeah, in St. Peter's. Vatican, yeah, Vatican. Right. And that was supposed to develop the final miracle that the Pope has to uh, execute to become a saint. That the million people showing up itself would be considered? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they just, yeah, it was uh, a million suckers were there, I think. But anyway, they were uh, to assemble. Uh, um, they uh, assembled on their own because they wanted so badly to create this miracle assembly uh, for the Pope, the current Pope. Uh, would, would your group take that challenge? To do what? <laughs> I don't know what the, what, what the miracle is that he has to perform. I wasn't. Well, he's, uh, 
Are you talking about John Paul II or Peter? I, I think he's asking if you would challenge the miracle itself. Like the miracle that the million wants to witness. Although he's not sure what that miracle is. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to look at any, any miracle. I, I will look at any claim. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's better if we're there and if we have access. And, because a lot of the stuff is, you know, with many hand, people come up and they say, um, I've got cancer or something, and maybe they've not been to a doctor. I, I mean, I was backstage once with a guy who said, uh, I had a heart attack, and I, I went to uh, a faith healer, I went to a psychic, I went to a reflexologist, I went to three or four different people, and I said, do you ever think about going to a cardiologist? I mean, so, so people sometimes get it in their mind that they have something, and they don't ask the people who know the most about these things. Well, my thought was, if you really want to debunk miracles, that'd be the best one to take on. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> The, the, the Catholics used to have a person who was in charge of, it was called the Devil's Advocate, actually. The, the, person, the Devil's Advocate was in charge of, of making the case for the miracle that the miracle didn't happen. And I'd love to be there for that discussion. But I don't even think they have the Devil's Advocate anymore. So it's, I mean, it's, it's the worst possible rubber stamping of, of a claim. Uh, you know, I, I mean, yeah, our, our 50,000 would have been gone in five seconds if, if that were our standard. That was our standard. So, question? Yeah. Uh, have you ever been even a little bit close to being disciplined if you had, like, one of those guys? The um, question was, have we ever even been close to being convinced? Uh, the answer is no, although one time we did a test run of a protocol, and we had our own guys sit and we did the, the senior cards, you know, they have the waving lines in the circle and the square. And the, so you have a one in five chance each time of guessing the right one. So we sat down with our investigators and he got the first three right. More like, what's going on? Is someone trying to mess with us here? Our own people trying to mess with us? And then he missed, you know, 15 in a row. But so these fluky statistics happen every once in a while, and it makes me a little nervous. But aside from that, not even close. Most people won't even uh, assent to being tested. I'm just curious how your budget is. Well, I, I personally work for the Center for Inquiry. So I'm full time with the Center for Inquiry. The groups, the IIG Independent Investigations Group in Los Angeles in Atlanta, in Washington, D.C., and the other ones that are emerging are all uh, volunteer groups. So how's that place funded? The Center for Inquiry? It's all funded by individual contributions. Oh, okay. Yeah, the government's not big on supporting it. <laughs> we'll take their money, but it's not a lot. Any other questions? Thanks a lot, everyone.